For the Ultimate Trailer, I wanted to have the best cabinets available. I went with Moduline. I feel they're one of the best cabinets in the industry. This is something everybody needs in their trailer. Pull the pin. This is a nice work shelf. It's compact when it's folded up. Solid when it's down. Moduline makes it. It's heavy duty. The best of the best. Snap it in, you're done. A beautiful toolbox, full roller ball bearing slides on this. Really, really well built. Made by Moduline once again. Stainless steel countertop. I had them build this cabinet for me. Who'd ever guess that lurking in this cabinet is an Onan 2800 generator. Gill Metal Fab designs and manufactures Moduline aluminum cabinets and accessories using state of the art CNC manufacturing equipment for a perfect fit at economical prices. Cabinet doors have textured chrome finish trigger latches that look great will not show fingerprints and keep doors securely closed. Front frames are clear anodized aluminum for good looks and durability. Premium 100% aluminum Moduline storage cabinets are designed for use in any area you want to provide durable, good looking storage. Moduline aluminum cabinets are perfect for use as garage storage cabinets, shop storage cabinets, industrial storage cabinets, and even kitchen cabinets, or in my case, the ultimate trailer cabinets. Another thing I like too is all the mounting hardware is included with all the cabinets. You can trust Moduline to provide high style and quality custom cabinets, corner cabinets, cabinet doors, overhead storage cabinets, wall cabinets, and tool chests. From the Sportsman Series to Pro, they have a cabinet system for you. So you have a nice little uh, tractor trailer here. Doubles as both a snowmobile trailer and then I use it for hauling the rhino in the summer as well as the motorcycles. The one thing that most trailers don't have is adequate tie downs. So I got a hold of the folks at Ancra and hooked me up with these really cool plates which we're going to mount to the other side of the trailer. Now we can mount straps around the whole perimeter of the trailer. Pretty slick. Just slide them in the slot wherever we need them and lock into place. These are rated at 1,000 pounds, uh, 3,000 pounds braking. These are some more anchor plates that uh, we're going to mount to the top of the trailer to give us a lot more tie down options. We wrapped it all up with some really nice anchor tie downs. This is a ratchet strap. Just hook it over the bar, ratchet it down, good to go. The nice thing I like about this is they sew the ends. When you go to release it, you don't lose the other end of the strap. This is their motorcycle strap. It's kind of got an extra strap here. This you can just loop around the handlebar and hook it to the hoop, pull it out, and we're good to go. When you have top-of-the-line equipment, Anchor is a tie-down you can count on for years of trouble-free, dependable operation. Anchor makes a complete line of tie-downs from your motorcycles and snowmobiles all the way up to industrial tie-downs for semis, aircraft, and commercial cargo. Established in 1969, Anchor has been the leader in tie-downs for almost 40 years. You can trust Anchor to secure your toys. Whatever your tie-down needs, Anchor has it. And the nice thing is, it's well-built. It's good stuff. Hi, I'm Rochelle from Triton Trailers. I'd like to talk about one of our new trailers for this year. Well, we have a TC11 out this year, which is a 11-foot enclosed trailer. Comes with a large front door, which allows you to tie down your skis or hook the ATVs or motorcycles. Because the trailer is made totally around multi-purpose, so you can use it year-round. The base trailer itself is about 64 inches tall, so it will fit the ATVs with the tall windshields. It's 11 foot long, has a swooped out front end to it, so it will fit the longest sleds on the market. It has a rear ramp door that lays down. Our trailers are very user friendly, but more than that, they are very easy to tow. Our balance on the trailers are second to none. They've been able to figure out exactly how to put the axles and get the balance, and that is what's giving everyone the easy ride. We've tried to use the best quality products, make sure that all the wiring is enclosed and doesn't have the butt connectors or anything in them so you don't have a problem down the road. And these trailers should last you for many years. Well, there you have it in a nutshell, the uh, Ultimate Trailer Part 2. We decked this bad boy out this year with about every conceivable option I could think of. I'm sure for next year we'll have some more bling on this thing. I have to say that Tri Trailers have been number one. I've had other trailers and Nothing else compares to these things. I think tows like an absolute dream. It's well built. I haven't had a single issue with this trailer. Nothing. Yeah, they're expensive, but when you want a Cadillac, 
Triton's a name. Triton's a game. I don't think I'll ever need another trailer. So I'll probably have 10 different sleds throughout my lifetime. I'll be running in this trailer year in and year out. This thing is going to go and go and go. And sleds you always replace them, but trailers, you know, it's like buying a house. It's an investment. When you're going to invest, you might as well invest in the best. Triton trailers. Uh, check them out on the web, www.tritontrailers.com. Wolf Shell and the gang at Triton are top notch people. Even with four heaters on board the Ultimate Trailer, there was still a lot of cold coming up from the floor. You ever notice that it seems to take forever to thaw your sleds out and there's always that cold layer down there? I got a hold of Brian Larson, he's with Goober's Insulation. Goober specializes in insulating trailer bottoms. Brian, tell us a little bit about Goober's. Well, we use Geico Western polyurethane foam to spray many trailers. It uh, seals every nook and cranny and it'll take away that cold air at the bottom of your trailer. And you guys specialize in trailers. We specialize in trailers, we do quite a few of them, put two to three inches of foam on it, and it seems to help greatly. Right on. So we're going to head over to Goober Shop and get the ultimate trailer up, and Brian's going to apply the foam, and I bet we're going to be warm. coming along good. You're getting close to three inches of foam all the way around. R21 will make a huge difference.